Hello and welcome to the channel. My name is BJ and I am a Microsoft MVP in SharePoint. In today's video, we are going to discuss about how we can convert Word document to PDF using Power Automate without using any premium connector. So here I will have a document library. Let me just show you that. Okay, by the way, I have written a complete tutorial on the same with step by step screenshot are also there which you can follow and you can create your app, uh, you can create your flow as well. Now for this particular example, you can see here, I have a library which is uh, saying that word document, you can see here and uh, there is a PDF document is also there. So ideally when I will upload a word document here, it should convert that to PDF and it should store in this library. So that is what we are going to build it from the scratch. Now for this, I will click on flow.microsoft.com so you can see here flow.microsoft.com and if you have logged in then it will ask you to log in and you can put your uh, office 365 credential i have logged in with my office 365 credential if you are new to power automate then i have i'll put a link in the video description where you can go through that the, i have created a complete tutorial on how to start with power automate now for this i will click on create and what we are going to do here is we will create a automated cloud flow and in this case now let us say i will give the exam uh, the name as uh, convert let's i'll say convert uh, word to pdf and when it will trigger basically it will trigger when uh, a file is created so i will search for file here and i will choose this when a file is created so properties only and remember this is a sharepoint action because we are taking the library as the sharepoint library and click on create so this is our flow has been created now what i will do is here i will put my uh, sharepoint site url so i'll copy this url and i will select uh, custom value here because that uh, URL doesn't come here and I will then select the library so in this case the library name is word document uh, now this is the library I selected that and next we will use the get file content flow action so what that will do is whatever the file we have uploaded will get the content of that file so in this case I will search for get file and you can see get file content should be there so a sharepoint flow action so let me just go here now you can see this one get file content flow action select this and again i would need to choose my sharepoint site url i'll enter custom value and i will select the sharepoint site url and the file in this case the file there will be identifier so just search for identifier you can see so that I will select it from here. So we have the file content. Now we can get it. Next, we will create a file in the OneDrive. So it will create a file in the OneDrive. So I'll click over here and I will search for create file and I will select uh, the OneDrive one. You can see this one. I'll select this. And in this case, it is saying that you need to choose the OneDrive file path and then what is the name basically you want to give and uh, uh, those things we have to uh, select it here so for that what I will do here is I will select the root folder you can see here I'll just select root here so I selected the root and then what will be the file content the file content will be the uh, sorry the file name is this one so I'll select for I'll choose name and you can see here file name with extension is that we'll take that thing and what will be the content the content will be in this case is uh, the file content that we get it so that is what we will select in this case and next what we will do is once we have that file in created in the onedrive uh, there is a onedrive uh, action is available which is known as convert file so that is still in preview so if i will select here convert file let me just go here you can see onedrive for business flow action so I'll select that and uh, here what we need to provide is a ID. So the ID will be the unique ID from the create file which is basically from this OneDrive one. I'll select that and the target type is PDF which is by default selected you can see it here. 
and once we have that then two more steps you have to do another one is uh, what we will do here is we will create a file in the sharepoint which is this time we will uh, select the pdf library here so i'll click on new step and i will select create file so you can see create file and i will choose uh, the sharepoint one you can see create file sharepoint first thing is i'll select my sharepoint site url so i'll select you know custom value and then i'll select the url here and once you have the url next is the uh, folder path so in this case the folder path uh, uh, will be the basically will be the uh, library name i'll select this and you can see here uh, pdf document so that is the uh, you know folder where we want to store what will be the file name so the file name will be probably we can take the name so we can take the sharepoint name also so i'll just check name you can see this one and i will select dot pdf and what will be the content so in this case the content will be the file content which we are getting in the convert file uh, you know flow action so i'll select it you can see the one drive for business one and uh, next i'll click on next step and we will delete that file so whatever we have created in the uh, one drive for business we'll delete that so i will select a delete file one drive for business and the file will be will pass the id so the id will be the one drive id in this case so i will select one drive id on this so now this is what the file is so i'll just go through once you can see here we have created on uh, on when a file is created that property and we got uh, the get file content where we pass the identifier then we create a file in in uh, you know one drive and in this case if you'll see here uh, the file name with extension and file content and next we converted the file so id and pdf and then we have done this you can see it here in the second one we created in the sharepoint library now i'll save this flow so you can see here i saved this flow it is saved now and what we will do now is i will uh, go to this library so this is the sharepoint library we have in this one either you can create a new file or i'll go to files and i'll simply take this test document here now you can see this is the document that we have uh, taken it so I, i'll wait for some time the flow to run and then i'll be back so anytime you can go to my flow and uh, then this is the flow that we have created i can click on that and uh, then you can see here something is failed here i need to check it you know, so for some reason this again the file content is uh, changed to body so i'll change it again and i will run this so i have uh, you know both the cases it has been changed so i change this again now let me just click on test and then uh, we will say let's say manually i'll test it and then we will go and see it so you can see now you can see now it has been created you can see this is a test document and this is so when you test it basically when we saw that that time you can see here it created one so test document with the same name and uh, let me show you the word document so this is basically the document and this is the pdf file now you can see here and once you click on that you can see the you will be able to see the pdf file as well online over here so if you want similar kind of videos then subscribe to our youtube channel you will get lot of free videos on sharepoint office 365 microsoft teams and power platform so thank you and have a nice day